Welcome everyone to GamerMail. Today, AMD is making a huge change. Intel's high-end desktop CPUs are back. The biggest APU ever, AMD's RX 7000 costs how much? An RX 8000 performance. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, AMD could soon be making a massive change. During a recent conference, AMD CFO Devinder Kumar was asked about the company's view of ARM chips, and in his reply, the CFO stated that AMD's customers want to work with them to make ARM-based chips, and that they actually stand ready to make them, meaning AMD could soon make ARM-based processors. Of course, AMD has mostly made processors based on the x86 architecture, though they made some parts in the past. As Tom's Hardware states, currently AMD's ARM cores are just small microcontrollers, nothing like their Ryzen or Epic parts. Also, in his statement, it doesn't sound like AMD is actually working on ARM-based parts at the moment, or at least that they have a product to announce yet. But this is going to be interesting, especially since Nvidia recently acquired ARM and promised to keep the licensing neutral. AMD entering the space would obviously make honoring that commitment a whole lot harder. Time, as always, will tell. And of course, with all this new hardware coming out, make sure you get the best prices with today's sponsor, Micro Center, the store that's got it all. From custom water cooling to a huge selection of cases, CPUs, even motherboards. And the best part is that they're actual stores across the US, so you can see the products before you buy them. And Micro Center is the place I trusted for my first build years ago. To top it off, they have a custom PC builder, so you know you're getting the right parts. And you can even have an expert assemble it for you the same day. Oh, and did I say best prices? Because Micro Center consistently has some of the best prices in the industry. And for a limited time, when you use my link in the description, you'll get a coupon code for a free 240 gigabyte SSD with no purchase necessary. So check that out today. Next up, it looks like Intel is finally gearing up to release their first new lineup of HEDT CPUs since 2019. The same leaker who recently leaked the LGA1700 socket, as well as the first image of Intel's Z690 chipset, just shared info on Intel's upcoming X lineup of CPUs. In the post, he stated that there's a mysterious chipset called the W790 that's set to replace the X299 platform. That's of course the Sapphire Rapids update, and it's expected to be released in Q3 of next year. Video cards actually shared a roadmap with the same W790 platform, so it seems pretty clear that this is it. And I'll definitely say that I'm excited. Intel Flat couldn't release a new series because they had nothing to compete with AMD's Threadripper lineup. I mean, they could barely keep up with Ryzen while still on 14 nanometers. But of course, Intel is set to move over to their 10 nanometer Superfin, so they're ready to compete in the high-end desktop market again as well. Let's just hope their pricing isn't in the stratosphere. Next up for today, the most powerful APU of all time looks to be coming. In a new tweet from known leaker Executable Fix, he claims that there's a server socket called SH5 that features a CPU and it's called the MI300. Now, that probably doesn't make a lot of sense if you don't keep up with the server market, but this is big. And a second tweet marks it as soon, but I'll get to that in a second. As Video Cards explains, it's likely referring to the MI300 accelerator. The MI100 is AMD's current top of the line GPU for data centers. The MI200 should be fully releasing soon, and rumors have pointed to the card being essentially the first MCM GPU. Then the MI300 would obviously come after that, and it's already been rumored to use four GPU chiplets, making it almost like four MI100s in one depending on how many cores each chiplet has. Moving back to the tweet, the SH5 is apparently a socket for Zen 4, meaning this would be a GPU and CPU combined, making it an APU. Not only that, but according to a reply from another known leaker, Kepler, both the MI200 and MI300 are coming as a discrete GPU and APU, meaning a single socket would have both a CPU plus a GPU with over 14,000 cores, and potentially double that for the MI300. And what's wild is that AMD actually released a paper on an Exascale APU, where they show how this could be done. You can see that these are the GPU chiplets, here's the stacked VRAM, and 
here are the CPU chiplets. Basically, AMD is potentially gearing up to release an APU with more cores than any discrete GPU has ever seen. And speaking of GPU cores, today's final story gives us a glimpse of AMD's upcoming RX 7000 and even 8000 GPUs. The story originally comes from Moore's Law is Dead, where he details the upcoming cards, and if this is right, there is some good news, but also bad. First, he claims to be confident that RDNA 3, which should be AMD's RX 7000 cards, will see a 60% performance increase at a minimum. Now, it's that minimum part that's important. I've discussed some leakers who claim more like double or more performance, and he mentions those leakers as, of course, proven sources. It's just a 60% at minimum. He did mention big efficiency and ray tracing performance increases as well. Unfortunately, it's not all good news, as he claims that the RX 7000 lineup will see an increase in price by quote, almost an entire tier. That's right, as if MSRP wasn't high enough already, AMD is apparently planning to up it by a whole lot more. Of course, we recently saw a similar price, but this is across the board. Now, with that said, he also stated that performance would increase several tiers. Like he mentioned, the 7700 XT should be around 3090 performance, which is incredible. So it would ultimately be a better price to performance metric, but the mid-range market has already been decimated. It's really getting pretty ridiculous at this point. Of course, it wouldn't be as bad as pricing is right now, but I'm hoping that when these release, things will finally be back to normal. And speaking of the release, he claims RDNA 3 is set to launch in Q3 or Q4 of next year, though obviously that was always the likely scenario. <laughs> Lastly, he goes over RDNA 4, which should be AMD's RX 8000 GPUs. According to one source, an additional 50% increase over the RX 7000 cards for the RX 8000 GPUs is conservative. So we should expect a huge performance gain yet again with the 8000 GPUs. And those are set to launch at the very end of 2023 or early 2024. Let's just hope they aren't even more expensive yet again. So while that does it for today, are you excited for AMD's next-gen GPUs, or are you more excited for their upcoming leaked Monster APU? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day!